Yeah, and like, people are sitting there like, I see I see that guy on a football terrace having a go at Brandon and that. He called me out and then bottled it. We're supposed to be doing a show at six o'clock tonight. Yeah, I caught, I, he, he called me out on his channel. I got Terry to hook it up and now he's bottled it. Who's yeah, that? Just like Arsenal bottled it against Man City. Bro, when people want to call me out. Which I'm, guy was that? Who was that? Gale calling me oh, out. Oh, there go, yeah? Oh, my days, bro. Easy to, easy to bully Brandon and all that, with all due respect. I love Brandon to bits. He's a top guy, yeah? But easy to bully Brandon. Ain't easy to bully me, is it? Which is why he bottled it. Yeah? Love you can't that. test me on the knowledge of my club. You can't test me on how long I supported my club. You can't test me on the aim of elite sport. You can't test me on the fact that I was supporting the club before you were born. You can't mm. test, tell me anything I don't know about my football club. Yeah? Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Facts. I hate it's you, mad. And, and there's loads of people like this. Yeah, they all chat smack. Why didn't he call out Curtis? Why didn't he call out Deluded? Why didn't he call out um, Troops? Why didn't he call mm. these people out? Why me? Yeah? Do you know what I'm saying? Because guess why? He thinks, oh, yeah, I'll get on the football tour. We'll have a debate and I'll get I'll get low. the rat army. Shut up, man. Yeah, you've been terminated, your cucaracha. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, the rats have oh, infested well. it. No, I and I'm sitting you, there bro. telling me I, I'm, I'm more happy and all of that, yeah, when Arsenal lose. Bollocks. Yeah, I've had five uh, 615,000 views this month, yeah, before today. And we've lost every game pretty much. We ain't won a game in February. I've had 615,000 views after 16 days of the month, yeah? Last month, I had 1.2 million. Mm. So it's about there or thereabouts the same. But guess what? We didn't lose a game last month. So what the hell are these people on about? Oh, you get you get more views when we lose. Shut up, man. Yeah, wait till it's my second game, channel man. bangs and I get more views on the second channel than the first. Then what? Yeah, because that ain't That's nothing it. to do with football. No facts, bro. But this but this is what these guys don't understand, isn't it? They don't understand. It. It's not mm. like man don't enjoy losing, fam. Like I'm having way more fun now, yeah, that Man United are winning every week pretty much than I've ever had. Because since I started YouTube, and it will be like my seven-year anniversary next week, bruv, in the seven years that I've been doing YouTube, Man United have been shit for the whole seven years apart from now. Yeah. This is the first time I actually get to make content on my team. Like, I expect my team to go to the new camp here and Pam Barca, bro. Like, this is and, where and we are now. Won. Like. You should have won. We should have won, bro. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Bro, we're, they're going to get battered at Old Trafford, bro. Like, they're mm. going to get properly, like... Properly bent over at Old Trafford, bro. Like, but this, but this is the happen. thing, man. Right? People at the start of the season, let's all laugh at Man United. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. And it's like, why are you laughing at Man United? They got a manager that's come in, and in six months, eight months, whatever he's been there, yeah, has got rid of Ronaldo. Mm. Pretty much binned off Harry Maguire, the club captain. Mm. Right. Got in Casemiro, <laughs> and has got you into a League Cup final. Got you five mm. points off of apparently so much better team in Arsenal. Mm. Got you into the next round of the FA Cup, and you've got one foot really in the next round of the Europa League. Yeah, because bro, Barcelona have to come to Old Trafford and win, bro. Who's mm. coming to Old Trafford and winning, bro? Like we don't lose at home, like <laughs> like no. look at us this season, bro. Like our home record is up there with one of the best in the league, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So if Barcelona think they're coming to Old Trafford after the pressure we put them under in their own backyard, bro, they're getting smoked. Yeah, yeah, smoked when they come to Old Trafford. sitting there saying, oh, yeah, but they play every three games. Yeah, and Arsenal have got a thin squad. We've got a thin mm. squad by design. We chose to have a thin squad. Man United's squad ain't that, mm. ain't that much thicker than Arsenal's squad, is it? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you look at your bench, your bench is just as bad as Arsenal's bench. It is. Well, ours, is ours is because of injuries, isn't it? Yours is because yeah. you just haven't got the depth in the squad. Do you know what I'm Bro, saying? Bro, our bench so... stinks. we got Zinchenko running around like a headless chicken the other night, yeah? Like smacking the ball 50 yards backwards when we're 3-1 down. Yeah, just literally the ball bobbled up and he just volleyed it straight to our right back. Yeah, and I'm like, what are you doing? How he stayed on the pitch is a shambles. Yeah, we got, and, like, and people sit there go, yeah, but you know, we've we you know we've got a thin squad. We ain't got really many options to rotate and change. Bollocks. Eddie and Ketia mm -hmm. does not have to play 90 minutes. You can put Martinelli up front, sub Eddie off the pitch and put Trossard at left wing. Yeah, now you've got Martinelli up front. So mm. you don't have to keep him on the pitch. Since they've made up that stupid song about Eddie and Ketia, bro, he ain't scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. It's, it's true, though. Really but mad. At least, bro, I said it, you know, because I remember you lot have a better memory than me. I just say things, but I don't remember when I say them. But I remember when I think Enketia scored a goal and I think he'd done a certain celebration. I think he, like, cupped his ears or something like that. And I was like, yeah, he's probably going to go a run on 10 games now without scoring. You know, like that. Because this is what these guys do, you know. 
You see these football players, it's just like when Harry Maguire done the knee slide yeah, against Albania and was like, oh, like doing like almost kind of shush the crowd. It's like, bro, just play football, man. Do you know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Because when you guys do this, like football's a humbler, something always happens. We got Martin Odegaard giving it. Oh, I, when I walk out into the stadium with the North London Forever song playing, I can feel the electricity from the fans. I sing the song under my under my fr- uh, voice, like under my breath. I sing the song. I get goosebumps every time. Yeah, all right, mate. Good one. And then you drop a stinker again. Yeah, but why do these people do this, bro? Why do they come out with these comments? It's because then when they do drop a stinker, the section of the fan base go, but he loves the club. He loves the club. I've yeah, might not go. I don't have nothing apart from the PR the club gives him. Yeah, and the paycheck. He couldn't give a shit about Arsenal. Yeah, if he had a choice of staying at Real Madrid and getting in the first team and coming to Arsenal, he ain't picking Arsenal. So, what do you mean he loves the club? Yeah, Eddie and Ketty, I remember when he did the, the call me celebration to an empty stadium, bro, with a 96 minute equalizer against Fulham. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> yeah. Year. yeah, people can cry about Lee Mason and refs and all of that. Lee Mason didn't give him 100 grand a week, did he, when he was out of contract? Lee Mason don't okay. keep him on for 90 minutes. You know, Lee Mason don't make Gran- um, Granite Xhaka play crap. Yeah, Lee Mason ain't making Thomas Party get injured. Do you know what I'm saying? If these people are idiots, man. I'll tell you, yeah, we better fix up real quick. We've got a nice little run on paper of games. But Leicester are picking up form. They've slapped like eight goals in their last two league games. We've got them coming up next after Villa. Mm. We've got Bournemouth coming up. Well, they just drew with Newcastle. And all of these teams, bro, they're going to sit back. They're going to defend. They're going to make it hard work. Yeah, and the fact is... We didn't do enough in January. We didn't do enough in the summer. And we had a great run, fantastic run. It was great to watch. I, I stupidly got carried away with it, thinking we could win the league. I should have known fucking better. Yeah, I've yeah, seen but bro, it it's easy every... to get carried away, Lee, bro. Like, at the end of the day, bro, like, uh, listen, I got carried away at the start of Oli's campaign and I thought, you know what, like, <laughs> him and what's his name, that fucking in the shorts, Mick Phelan, I thought, hey, the good times might be back, didn't I? <laughs> you know, like that, bro. That. <laughs> bro. Listen, after, like, three games, yeah, I completely turned on Oli, bro. Like, it's one of shameless, I don't give a fuck. Like, do you know what I'm saying, After bro? the United game, I said, you know what, we bro, were seven points clear. Yeah, and I was like seven or eight points clear, I think it was. And I was like, yo, do you know yeah. what? I think we might actually win it, you know? I think we're going to win bro. it. Yeah, but then this is what happens. Bro, we did exactly the same as this in 2008, 2007, eight. We went on 21 game unbeaten streak, yeah? Mm. Then we threw away the FA Cup. We lost 4-0 to you lot in the FA Cup, playing a weakened squad, yeah? Right? Then after that, I think we got one win out of our next eight games. It's exactly Ooh, that's the what same. I, see, and that's what I, with us. We gave Oli the new contract, yeah. And then when Oli got the new deal, I think we didn't win. We didn't win a game in time, bro. Like weeks, could even mm. have been months. For the whole month, draws and losses. As soon as he got the contract, we were just losing games, blood. I think the stat was we never won two games back to back in like months, bro. Like yep. we win the odd game here and there, but we didn't win two games in a row for a stupid amount of games. And I was like, yo, like. Literally, this is what these guys do. Like Man United giving him that contract, yeah, just put the worst, the worst judge on our team, bro. And that's how I feel about these dead ballers as well. When they do these celebrations, like when they do these back against the wall celebrations, like the siege celebration, it's like no one cares enough about you, yeah, for you to be shushing, man, bruv. Like, allow it. Just grow yeah. up here. Like, why are you so sensitive? Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, why are you so fucking sensitive? Like, I don't understand these footballers, bro. It's like, and the thing is. It's like, if you've worked so hard to get to where you are, yeah, you should have built a certain level of resilience by now. Like, why are you so fucking, do you know what I mean? Why are you so easy to rattle, bruv? Like, what, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't understand these guys, bro. So it's like, don't be shushing fans. Don't be copying it. Don't be, bruv, just play football, bruv. 